here. You know what? There's the scripture references. You can write them down if you want. You can look at them if you want. We've got a bunch of kind of strange names, though. So I'm not going to have anybody read today because we've got some really strange names. But if you want to follow along, turn in your Bibles to Luke. Luke. Luke chapter 6. Now, do you remember? Is Luke in the Old or New Testament? Old or New Testament? Old, old. Raise your hand if it's Old Testament. Raise your hand if it's New Testament. It's New Testament. Oh, Luke is yeah. New Testament. Now, do you find easy way to find the New Testament, guys? Let's look up, look up. That's an easy way, table of contents. Another easy way to find the New Testament, you take your Bible, you split it in half, and then you take the back half, and you split it again, and I come into Matthew. Matthew's the first book of the New Testament. But Matthew, Mark, Luke. If you've got a table of contents in the front, it'll tell you what page Luke starts on. So Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. Does anybody need help finding it? Jaden, you're not in your special seat. Come to your special seat. Come to your special seat. Come, come, come. Come, come. I got a Okay, hold on. Let's come to your special seat. Come, come with me. Come with me. Stand up, please. Stand up, please. Come on, buddy. You guys go in your special seat, okay? Go ahead. You know where it is. Go, 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 go. All right. Has everybody found Luke chapter 6? Yeah. Have you found Luke chapter 6? Yeah. Yeah. Do you still need help finding it? Oh, I Let's see. Ezekiel, let's go back farther. Matthew. Yeah. And there's, oh, I saw Luke. Luke chapter 6. 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 Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 6. Now, we're going to turn the page one more time. Because it's starting in verse 13. Starting in verse 13. Luke chapter 6, verse 13. Now this is talking about Jesus. It says, And when it was day, he called his disciples to himself. And from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Now there's a couple of words that you guys aren't used to hearing. Disciples and apostles. But we're going to use the word disciples here. Now, does anybody have any idea, because this is probably a new word for you, what a disciple is? What do you think, Ella? A friend? Okay, good. Favor? Somebody that follows Jesus? What do you think, Eric? That's what you're gonna say, Megan. Um, you know what a disciple is? No, you had your hand up. Roman, you got your hand up, or are you just stretching? What do you think a disciple is? Um, I says, I said, um, I says I have a question. When am I gonna spin the wheel? We'll do that later when people are in points. You know what a disciple is? Oh. Is it something for the lesson, or is it something else? Let's wait till after class, okay? Does anybody else have any idea what a disciple is? So we've got a friend, and we've got someone who follows Jesus. And they're both correct. Both are correct, because these are people that Jesus called his friends. Now, the disciples, 
Has anybody ever heard the word discipline before? Yeah. What is, what is discipline? Yeah. Somebody just tell me. That's one. That's one. Now that that's a that's that's a negative form of discipline. What's being rude? Being rude? No, that's not discipline. Action is consequences. All right, that's that's all a little bit, but actually there's another meaning of discipline. There's another meaning of discipline. What do you think, Eric? Discipline for following the Lord. Following the Lord. You guys are all. You're getting around it, but you're getting close. Favor? Okay. Tell you what. Has anybody ever exercised? Has anybody ever been involved in, in sports? Yeah. What do you basketball? What what do you need to do in basketball? What do you just go out and play games? Do you, do you just come together and, and no, then you, you just practice, go out and play games? Practice, practice. What do you do? <laughs> Somebody's saying it over here. Yeah. Practice. 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 Is practice fun? Yes. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. How many times do they? Listen up. How many times do they make you drop your basketball? A lot. Why? Guys, guys, please. We can't hear Ella. Why? They want you to get good at it. They want you to be able to control the basketball. You ever, anybody ever watch basketball? You see these guys? Guys, we got a little hair emergency here. Okay, there you go. Pull your arm out. All right. Go ahead. Have a seat. You can do the rest of it. You can do the rest of it. Don't worry about that. Jaden. No. All right, now, back to the lesson. Ella says they make you dribble the basketball a lot. And when I was in school, when I was a little kid, we used to play basketball in school, and they'd make us dribble the basketball, and we'd dribble it through our legs, and we'd bring it around, and we'd dribble it through our legs. Why? Because you want to get good at handling the basketball. You see, if you're bouncing the ball way up here in a game, Ella, what's going to happen if you're bouncing the ball way up here in a game? Somebody's going to reach in, and they're going to steal the ball from you, right? So you got to have good control. That's called discipline. Listen up. Having control is called discipline. Now, a disciple is somebody who's willing to practice and keep doing it and keep doing it. Do you know that there are some kids who go to bed with their basketball? No. These guys and girls love basketball so much, they sleep with their basketball. In the morning, they're dribbling. When they go to school, they're dribbling. When they're coming home, they're dribbling. And all day long, they're dribbling. Why? Because they want to get good at it, and so that's all they do. Well, that's a disciple a basketball. Now the same you can know, same thing for football or video games. Yeah. There are people that play video games all the time and they eat, sleep, and drink and dream of video games. Why? Because they want to get good at it. They are disciples of a video game. Jesus wants to be his disciples. He wants us to be his disciples. In other words, that Jesus is so important to us. Now, there are... Let me read on here. He says, He called His disciples to Himself. 
He chose 12 whom he also named apostles, and that those who list them. Simon, who was also named Peter. Now a lot of these people in the Bible have multiple names. Pete, uh, Andrew, his brother. James and John. Philip and Bartholomew. Matthew and Thomas. James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called the Zealot. James, the son, uh, Judas, I'm sorry, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who also became a traitor. Yeah, he did. So there were how many? How many disciples were there? Well, 12 disciples. Now, here's, here's something for the Lopez boys. There was a disciple named Matthew. Do you know who? Do you know somebody named Matthew? Uh, yeah, my cousin. Yeah. No. Yeah. Matthews are. I... Matthew is your cousin. Yeah, my cousin too. What am I but talking? Matthew had another name. It's the same name that means Matthew, and that name is Levi. 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 Levi's name is in the Bible. Levi. It means the same thing as Matthew. So your cousin Matthew and your brother Levi have the same name. How cool is that? Well, my brother's name Joshua is in the Bible. Joshua, actually, Jesus' name is actually the same as Joshua, believe it or not. Believe it or not. All right, but back to the disciples. Some of them used to work... Like, for example, Peter and Andrew, who were brothers, James and John, who were brothers, can you guess what they might have done for a living? Fishermen. They were fishermen. Exactly. Who said that? Is that you? Is that Eric? They were fishermen. They used to go fishing for a living. They would catch fish. How about Matthew? Do you guys know what Matthew was? Yeah. What was Matthew? Besides your cousin. Does anybody have an idea what Matthew might have been? What Eric? Kind of like a, prophet. Prophet. a what? A prophet. No, it wasn't a prophet. What do you think, Jordan? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, Jordan. Raina, what do you think? Uh, Actually, in many people considered Matthew to be a bad boy. Yeah, Seriously. Seriously. Like because that. Matthew was a tax collector. Oh, oh, oh. Who, who likes tax collectors? No. no. Nobody. You know why? I do. Because nobody likes to pay taxes. And to make things worse, tax collectors were dishonest. That's what I meant when, he, when I said he was bad. Most tax collectors were dishonest. And they would cheat people to try to collect more money than they really owed. And you know what they did with that money that they collected? They put it in their pockets so that they could spend it. They were stealing for people, most tax collectors. And Jesus saw Matthew and he said, come follow me. And immediately Matthew left what he was doing. Now how about that? I work in a job. Believe it or not, I work at a tax office. You do? You do? Yes, we do. I'm, not, I'm not a tax collector, though. That's not my job. But I work with tax collectors. I'm a computer guy. I write computer programs. But if Jesus said to me, Dave, I want you to drop what you're doing and follow me. And I did that. I actually, I follow Jesus even though I'm working my job. But if God ever told me, Dave, I want you to give up your job and just work for me, I would do that. You know why? Because I'm a disciple of God's too. It pleases God when we're willing to give up everything for him. You know why? He gave up everything for us. So Jesus called these 12 men and... We know that four of them, at least four of them, were fishermen by trade. But guess what they were doing after Jesus called them? They weren't fishing anymore. They were following Jesus full time. That's all they wanted to do. And for three years, they lived with Jesus. They ate with Jesus. They slept in the same place that Jesus slept. They followed Jesus. 
They listened to everything that Jesus had to say. They lived Jesus. They lived Jesus. That's what disciples are. So when I say that God wants you to be a disciple, does that mean that you can't go have a job? No. But Jesus should be so important in your life that you'd be willing to give up everything for him. Everything. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think you can give up everything for Jesus? Um, do you work? I do. Go sit down. No. It pleases God when we love Him so much that we'll do anything for Him. Because God gave up everything for us. He gave His only Son for us. And so, <clears throat> how much more should we love Him? Are you too young to work for God? No. 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 Not even if we're zero. 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 Not even if I'm going to ask you a question. Come here. And Jaden. Jaden. Come here, buddy. Come here. How old are you? How many are you? Can you show me? Three. Are you three? One, two, three, right? Hold it up so everybody can see. Hold it up so everybody can see. Hold your arm up. Make it three. Three. He's three years old. How old are you? How old are you, Levi? Are you three? They're both the three things. Yeah, let's sit down now. Megan. Is that how old you are? Are you three? Three. Three years old. And you can follow Jesus. <laughs> Levi, you can follow Jesus. Jaden, you can follow Jesus. Ella, come here. Are you Ella? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Who else? Eric, how old are you? We got two 11 year olds here. How old are you? These guys are 11. Are they? How old are you? 10. Yeah, Jordan, how old are you? 10. 10. Okay, you're 10. We don't want you. You're 10. <laughs> Dominic, how old are you? 9. 9. We don't want you. You're 9. <laughs> I'm kidding. Doesn't matter whether you're 11 years old or three years old or six years old. Roman, how old are you? Five. Oh no, he's six. Six. Savannah, how old are you? Nine. Raina, how old are you? Eight. Will, how old are you? Ten. Jonathan, how old are you? Six. 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 Jason, how old are you? Five. Six. Every one of you can be a disciple of Jesus. Miss Faith, how old are you? Forty-one. She's forty-one. I'm a little older than that. I'll be fifty-eight soon. I got a birthday coming up. I'm 57. I'll be 58 soon. Forty-one. Every one of you can be a disciple of Jesus. How do you do that? You make up your mind that you want to follow Jesus in everything you do. Now, what happens?
happens if somebody tries to get you to not follow Jesus? Don't listen to them. You don't listen to them. Jesus first. If Jesus is first in your life, you too will be a disciple. Now you might not get your name. Okay, you're not going to get your name in the Bible. But you will still be a disciple and you will be pleasing to God. That is what I want you all to do. Is to be pleasing to God. To please God in everything that you do. Alright, I want everybody to bow their heads and close their eyes. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, we thank you. Because you have made us to be disciples. Lord, even at their young ages, you've called these young people to be your disciples. And I pray that you would put your Holy Spirit in every one of them. That their desire would be to follow you with everything that they have. That they would serve you all the days of their lives. And we thank you for every one of them. And we know that you love them and they are your friends. And they are your children. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.